Hey guys, so we are going to learn now about how to use form elements in Microsoft Word. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have your developer tab enabled. If you do not see this developer tab, let me show you how to enable it. Okay, so anywhere in your ribbon where there's a bit of space, you can right click and say customize the ribbon. Customize the ribbon. And if you look on the right hand side, you'll see all the various tabs that we have available. Developer will be one of those tabs. You will probably see it like that, where it will not have a tick next to it. Just put a tick next to it, developer, and click OK. All right, so right click the ribbon and customize the ribbon. Okay, if you forget about right clicking the ribbon, just go File and Options and uh, Customize Ribbon. There it is, there. File, Options, customize a ribbon or just right click okay so let's have a look at what we're going to do here we're going to use for this first part of the video we're going to use what's called the legacy tools and then we're going to use another set of tools after that so the first one's legacy tools so I'm going to click on here where it says legacy tools little drop down arrow there and here we have my first field which is a text box so there's my text box click over there adds a text box great let's do this one click over there add a text box and would you like to volunteer you know what let's do a, a text by a checkbox there we go checkbox right cool and you know what and what we will also do is area of expertise how's that I just thought about that now so let's add that in and that can be a drop down list over there voila now at a first glance it looks pretty easy and pretty straightforward and quite plain but there's quite a bit that we can do here and we can format and restrict the editing of these fields to make it look just the way we want why would we be using form fields like this well the main advantage would be to gather data quickly and easily and correctly as well let me explain so in the name field I want to now edit the properties of this name field right here so I just double click on the name field and it brings up the properties for me again if you forget to double click just here I am in my developer tab there's my name field okay just click on properties same thing so let's have a look we have a text form field the type is regular text you've also got other things like number date time etc the default text could be whatever you want filled in there automatically before they click and type so you know an instruction for example like enter your name the maximum length well let's go with 30 20 20 characters I mean, if your name is longer than 20 characters oh my word you need to call the Guinness Book of Records and the text format uppercase lowercase first capital or title case I'm gonna go with uppercase in this time this case case ha to see what this gonna do and let's click OK all right perfect that's ready let's do the same with surname okay so double click on surname and uh, let's do enter surname and we'll make that 20 as well and also uppercase click OK so far so good two form fields ready to go area of expertise now this is gonna be a drop-down list right so let's go and fill that in so again properties and let's add in our first item our first item could be um, underwater ice hockey it's a thing guys it's a thing there it is there next one could be um, I'm just making this up as I go uh, how do you spell marshmallow marshmallow eating champion champion how do we spell champion champion oh heaven help us champion um dog groomer okay but i don't know i'm just making up some of these things and you know what let's just have a select one okay and we'll just put that at the top you see I, i'll just click on move just put that at the top so here i've got my drop down form field options there they are there click OK done and would you like to volunteer as a tick box a yes or no all right so how do we actually now activate this so that it's ready to be used super easy guys I'm still in my developer tab I just click on restrict editing so restrict editing and what am I going to restrict well I'm going to restrict the editing of the document so that they can only fill in forms there it is there so it's number two okay number two there it is track changes comments filling in forms that's what I want so watch what this does click start enforcing protection no password okay let's not do that just yet and now 
I can't click on name, surname, area. I can't edit anything except the text boxes. So I can click in here and I can type in my name. I can click in there and I can type in my surname. I can click area expertise and check there's my drop down and I can choose one. I think underwater ice hockey is good. Would you like to volunteer? Totally would like to volunteer. And that is using the legacy tools to create basic form fields. And the properties are all there. Now you can see now, obviously I can't do anything. I can't edit the document. How do I change this back? Well, here I am on restrict editing. Just stop protection. Stop protection. And now my page is ready to be edited again. And I can then organize these forms as well.